Hi folks and welcome to DevTrends. Today we're going to talk about new major version of UI component workshop library Storybook 5 and free front-end bootcamp from Microsoft. Every large project needs to be bootstrapped properly and it's an important thing for developers both new and already working on the project to have a common UI company specification and style guide in order to get a knowledge with application structure, company's hierarchy and how all of it communicates and works in general. And one of the most popular tools for such management is Storybook, which has recently hit version 5. So a new version of Storybook includes plenty of changes included completely overhauled user interface with light and dark themes, its own reusable components accessible via Storybook Companies packages, new API and much more. Storybooks works with a variety of frameworks including React, React Native, Vue, Angular, Svelte, Old Plane, HTML and others. And to add Storybook to your existing project, you just need to install it to the root folder. We can effectively emulate it with Create React App, for example. Let's create a small demo of it. Okay, let's open our terminal. Wait, please. Okay, here we go. Let's create a new folder here. Okay, let's just use create React app. Let's check if I got it. Okay, so first let's install it. Create React app. So now let's create React app in new folder. Let's call it storybook demo let's wait till it finishes strapping and now let's install our storybook to our so where is it our hmm it's strange the projects. Okay, let's try again. It's something interesting. Let's use npx for now. Okay. Project storybook demo. Hmm. It's interesting. Where is our uh, there is some errors. Okay, so which not version do we have? Okay, we need to switch to version 10 of Node because it seems it great React App supports only 10th version. So LTS. Okay, so let's do it again. Create React App Story Book Demo. So now we got our storybook demo folder with React application in it. And here we just initialize a storybook. So we will use npx command as well. We reference the storybook CLI package to be able to use executable SB. And here we just use SB in it. Let's just wait a bit till Storybook initializes in this folder. So Storybook successfully installed in our project. Now create a React App application. And now let's just use npm script npm run Storybook and see if it works. It serves on port 9009 by default. bit larger okay okay and here is our storybook so it works pretty seamlessly with create a react app 
And if you not yet decided if you need Storybook in your project, here is a short video from creators that will help you to decide if it's for you. Also, there is Sorrow Migration Guide to version 5 available as well. And all the links are in the description as always. So Microsoft really has its golden time nowadays, at least when considering its open source contribution and feedback. I personally think last year was the year of ever-growing importance of open source and Microsoft's role in it. Because of, you know, TypeScript, VS Code, GitHub acquisition and opening private repos for everyone, switching Azure Core to Chromium, working with Firefox on MDN Docs, open sourcing Calculator and more. And now we can add to this list Frontend Bootcamp, a Microsoft's workshop teaching all sides of web development from HTML and CSS to React and TypeScript. So this workshop lasts for two days. On the first day you'll learn basics of web development with HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Here is a list. And on the second day you'll go deeper with topics like TypeScript, state management and testing. And in order to proceed it is required for you to have latest LTS version of Node, Git and VS Code, which is not kind of requirement itself, but rather a good recommendation. And each folder of the workshop consists of a quick demo on topic and exercise to be done after you learn this topic. And some folders uh, include as well a final to check your knowledge. That's all for today, folks. All the links are in the description below. Thank you for watching and stay trendy.